Hiya everyone and welcome back to Elle Loves. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the lemonade box. So I have to say the box is a little bit different this month. Normally it has a lemonade box just as one word on the front section. Um, but it has, this month they have put the print all over the whole box. So it says lemonade box several times. Uh, I did like it the old way. I don't know, I'm really weird. I kind of, I tend to be a little bit funny about change. Even if it's just really small, I'm very strange like that, I know. I have seen spoilers for this box, so I know what we're going to get. There are variations, but I'm really excited to get into it and tell you guys what I think. And I just want to say that I'm very sorry I've been a little bit absent lately. I haven't really had a lot of time to film lately. I've just felt kind of exhausted and a little bit down on myself. I think things have just been a little bit difficult and particularly after what happened to George Floyd. It did have an impact on us as a family, as it did on so many families across the world, which although it is beautiful to see, it's also devastating because I can't understand how we allowed it to get to this point. And I just feel, I feel sick thinking about it and I feel ashamed and I just didn't feel like filming. My partner is mixed race and our son is of mixed race and honestly, it's something that, it's just really affected us and particularly my partner. And I just feel devastated. I really don't know what the world has come to. So I think the last couple of weeks has just been a point of self-reflection and trying to see what changes I could make to make a difference. And I've always been somebody that would just would pray and hope that, you know, we could all be a big, happy family almost in the world and all races and all religions would just get along. And that's stupid and naive, but that's just how I always hoped it would be. And that's how I saw things as a kid. So it was just something that's just been on our minds a lot as it has been with everybody and I think it was important for us all to reflect and take a look at ourselves and see what we could be doing to be doing more so I'm gonna try not talk about that now because it's just it's been quite upsetting and I know you came here to see this lemonade box unboxing if you did come so I will get into the box there are a couple of little cards in the box this month or one of the brands rather that we have in the box this month is Kiss the Moon. And so it says in here we have a 15% off online shopping with them. So the code is KTM15 and I'll show you that there just in case anybody is interested in making an order. Because I know their stuff is quite pricey and I'm sure there are a lot of people that would be interested. And I know that there are a lot of people that would be interested. So then the other thing is a free gift. And this is just for their sister company, Pajama Drama Box. And it's just a code to get a free gift with your first box. Yeah, so it says free love is the code there to get your first box with a gift. And I assume it is first box. It doesn't say, but if you're on a continuous subscription, you wouldn't be able to enter a code there anyway. Yeah, that's those two little leaflets. And I love seeing in subscription boxes where you get just a little discount code. So that's really nice. Now, I know that I always tend to ramble on in my videos, so I'm going to try to be really quick today just because it's probably not that interesting for you guys to watch a really rambly 30 minute video. I'm going to try to go off the leaflet for once because I never do that and I really should. So the first product that's coming up on the leaflet is what I'm gonna pick out. Of course, it's at the bottom of my box. And so this is the Firming Fiji Facial Oil by Mono Skin, and it's 26 pounds, 95 pence, and that's it there. So it's a very small little bottle. I think it's 30 mils. And this is quite a high-end brand, and they did give us a couple of months ago from this brand an eye cream, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm really excited to try this. It is a brand that I like. Not a very strong smell off it, really nice and pleasant, kind of herbally, but it's gorgeous. I really do like that. And so it says, what can't you spell without oil? Yep, you're right, spoil. You can't spell spoil without oil because it would just be sp, and that's not a word. So since we love using real words and spoiling you all, we thought this facial oil would be perfect for you. It's formulated to smooth and comfort the skin while preventing dehydration. Its blend of bois de rose and patchouli essential oils ensure the skin feels calm, firm and radiant. The natural plant oils also pamper the pores and stimulate complexion. Enjoy. So that is really gorgeous. I'm really happy to get something from this brand. The only thing I've noticed is that when I looked for this product online, the container that it's in looks larger and it's also different. So it looks like it has a pet style lid, whereas this is just a normal lid and you pour the product out. So I'm not sure if this is maybe a sample size or if this is a product that's not sold. It says it's worth £26.95, but this is not the same packaging that I've seen for this product elsewhere. So I'm not really sure about that, but it does not say not for sale on the back. And I know that Lemonade Box never put products in 
from anything that I've gotten so far. They've never put anything in that's not for sale or that's a free sample or anything because they wouldn't do that. So I'm sure it's just different packaging, but really delighted to get that product in the box. And yeah, it's the most expensive item and I'm really, I'm really excited to try that. So it's got to pack a punch. Now, so what we've got next is a tropical dry shampoo by Cola. And that's here. So we've got a massive bottle of this. I have only used dry shampoo a couple of times in my life. I used Batiste as a teenager. It used to leave a horrible white cast in my hair and no matter how much I would rub it in, it would still be there. So I didn't really like dry shampoo and so I just kind of ignored it for a few years and I haven't gone back to it. So this one says amazing oil absorption without white residue. So hopefully this is gonna be a good one. And I have heard about this brand, so I'm curious to try it. This smells really, really nice. Again, it's a gorgeous kind of tropical scent. Like they said, it's very, very fresh. So I love that. And it's actually something that I need. As a mom, I don't have a lot of time. I'm running around all over the place. I don't get to wash my hair as often as I might like, and it looks rubbish. So to have a dry shampoo is actually a necessity. And I was thinking about looking around. I was like, what one do I get? I haven't had it in years. And I was like, I have no idea. So now I don't have to think about it. There's one in the box. And if I don't like it, then I got to try it. And that one, is worth three pounds fifty okay we know we're on lockdown and we can't really go anywhere but who's to say we can't look fabulous indoors looking and feeling good is an essential part of self-care so give your hair an instant indoor party fix with carnival vibes and a sunset sweet papaya and peach scent collabs formula effectively absorbs oil and instantly refreshes roots with an invisible lightweight finish keeping the hair clean soft and beautifully fragrant and it's also suitable for vegans but i think in terms of food they always make sure the products are vegan so the popcorn that we had in pajama drama box last month was vegan and we had chocolate marshmallows a couple of months ago and they were also vegan and as far as i know something in this box that you can eat is vegan so they always do make sure that they cater to them when they can and i do love that i'm not vegan but i do appreciate the scent so again it's a must-have it's a necessity and I didn't know where to start with dry shampoo so I am really glad to see that in the box I know some people don't like it because they do think of it as more of a necessity like things like razors and shower gels some people don't like getting that in a box I enjoy these things not all the time if I got razors in a box I would probably be a little bit miffed but I think dry shampoo is a little bit different so I'm happy to see it and it's all good with me Next is the spoiler that we had, and this is the Groom Pure Gentle Moisturizer. And I think this is the full size. It's for sensitive skin and it's fragrance free. And it's just supposed to be a lightweight moisturizer. Yeah, no scent off it, definitely fragrance free. It's full up to the gills, so at least you do get your money's worth there. And let's read a little bit about it. So it says, this is worth eight pounds. If you tell us you don't need a moisturizer right now, you're lying. Also, if this is what you're telling us, please slide into our DMs and drop your skincare routine. With all this hand washing, we're as dry as a camel doing the cinnamon challenge on a bone in the desert. Anyway, with this lightweight, easily absorbed bad boy, hopefully you won't feel the same as us. It's made from the natural goodness of sage, chamomile and green tea. It's fragrance free and suitable for sensitive skin. Woohoo. So I'm really excited again to see this. When I saw this was a spoiler, I was delighted. I've still yet to find my perfect moisturizer. I think I'm just really picky, but I haven't found something that does everything I'm after. I get very flaky skin. I find that a lot of moisturizers clog my pores. And so I end up trying to avoid using one at all. And then of course, that doesn't help with the areas of my face that are dry my skin and my body is much drier but i do find that my face because it's combination the areas that are dry are really bad so i need something that's not going to clog my pores but that'll still keep me moisturized so i'm really excited again to try this and i was delighted to see this as a spoiler the size is very small but i do think it will last a while i don't think you have to use a lot when you're using moisturizer so i can't wait to try that so again another great product now next up we have oh this is the little chocolate bar and so this is the milk and salted caramel chocolate bar by raw halo and it's worth one pound 99 i think the other flavor was milk chocolate and vanilla that you could have gotten in this it says as far as vegan milk chocolate goes this bad boy really does raise the bar chocolate bar <laughs> it's ethically sourced single origin cacao blended with coconut sugar and creamy coconut makes it deliciously creamy and sweet it's gluten-free 100 percent organic and is flavored with caramel and pink himalayan salt treat your taste buds to some self-care succulents and indulge in all that is good about life and chocolate today so this is a little bar that we got 
it's a decent size as well. I do think just looking at the price there, I mean, two pounds for this size, I think is a little bit ridiculous. Over here, sometimes for a bar this size of dairy milk, you can end up paying like 135, 140 in euros, which I always think is like insane. I think a bar of chocolate this size should easily be a euro. So in pounds to see that this is two pounds, I just think it's way, way, way too much. I get that vegan chocolate and things like that tend to be a bit more expensive because of the ingredients used and the quality and obviously it it's not as easy to make, I'm sure. But yeah, I, I just would not pay two pounds for something that size, definitely not. But we'll see if I like it. Maybe there might be a deal on it sometime and I could try it out somewhere else. Now, this was the only other variant as far as I'm aware. And this is a brand that I've seen a lot of hype about lately. I think they might have had a product on Latest in Beauty, a bath oil or something in the last year anyway. This is a Kiss the Moon Dream Bedtime Bath Salts and I have lavender and bergamot. And as far as I was aware, there are three scents in these. One was, I think, rose, and I'm not sure was the other one, maybe orange blossom oil or something like that. Lavender is definitely what I would have picked. I love lavender, so that would have been my choice anyway. So I just feel like they pegged me perfectly with this box. It says that you probably use one to two tablespoons. So I'd say you'd get maybe two baths out of this. So it's a decent size. I think it's 50 grams. And yeah, I'm definitely excited to try this. The full size I think is worth about 20 pounds. So it says dream bedtime bath salts. Ready to take your time in the tub to the next level. Good. These soothing lavender and bergamot bath salts will completely transform your baths into pools of tranquility, peace and well-being. The sleep inducing aromatherapy essential oils with detoxifying magnesium and dead sea salts are designed to ease muscles and relax your mind and body before bed. Soak away the day with these mineral rich salts and prepare for the best sleep of your life. So I'm really excited to see that there. Another brilliant one really. The only thing is if I have to be really, really picky with this product and I hate to be a downer, the only thing I would say is this value of this box is a little bit lower. So it's been 70 pounds, it's been 60 pounds and I think this box comes to just under the 50 pound mark. So if I had to be really, really picky, because you know that I always try to be brutally honest and obviously I talk this box up all the time. I have gone on social media, I've raved about it to anyone. I'm in a couple of beauty groups where you sell and swap makeup products from boxes that you've never used or that maybe you've used once or twice. I've never swapped anything from a lemonade box or a pajama drama box. I just love this stuff. And sometimes people ask on the groups, they say, what box should I try? And I always say lemonade box. So I talk this brand up everywhere because I love it so much and I wouldn't do that unless I truly believed in it but if I have to just be brutally honest I think that this month for their birthday box I would have liked to see the box be a little bit of a higher value just because when you look at glossy box and birch box and things like that I know that they're not self-care boxes and I know that they're mainly makeup and skincare based and they don't really delve into anything else but you look at a box like that and it's maybe say 10 pounds over in the UK 14 euros here this box is 20 pounds and some of those boxes glossy box particularly they've had values of 60 70 80 and even 100 pounds so I do think for a 20 pound box you would like to see the value be just a little bit higher and I think because it was their birthday box that was something that I expected or maybe we have our six items but one of them is a small bar of chocolate so maybe if we had six items item and then the chocolate was an extra that's something that I would like to see so just if I'm a little bit picky but I understand it's very hard for them to have a really high value every single month you have more than double the value in this box but still at the same time I think that we could have had the full size um, I've seen the full size of these elsewhere for about 20 pounds I saw on one website and so I think for that, I would say that they could have probably included the full size of the bath salts. That's just my opinion. If they weren't going to do an extra item or if the chocolate wasn't going to be your seven item freebie, then I definitely think that this should have been the full size. So that's just my opinion. Just if I had to be really picky about the box, I love everything in it. It's all stuff that I like and will use, but just to be really honest. So they're the bath salts that I have. And it's a gorgeous little sachet and it is resealable. So that's good. So you can do that between your next bath. Um, this is the Vitamin C Brightening Serum Glow and Radiance. So this is a brand called Balance Active Formula. And we did have this brand in a pajama drama box. I think it was the first pajama drama box I got back in March. And in the box, it was, I think, a gold serum. I wasn't that impressed with it, I have to be honest. I didn't think it did very much. I wasn't convinced on the ingredients. And I'm just, I'm not 100% sure. Vitamin C, though, is something that I've wanted to get into for a long time. I recently tried, like, 
like my first vitamin C product, which was a face mask from Rodeo. And that was in the latest in beauty box, the Hall of Fame product for last month. And I just keep saying I'll get into it and then I never do. So I want to give vitamin C a chance because my skin could definitely use some brightening. So to see a vitamin C product, I actually am very excited about. It's a reasonable price and it's full size. So I'm really here for that. And that says vitamin C power serum by Balance Active and it's worth £4.99. What do we do with tired looking skin? Put it in the bin. Well, not literally, that would be gross, but we do get rid of it. How with this beauty? It's a lightweight and non-greasy pro radiant serum that contains two forms of stabilized vitamin C to reduce the appearance of tired skin and age spots. It was designed to create a bright, glowing, smooth skin with an even tone. You can use it in the day, in the night, or both. Whatever you want. It's your life, and it's now or never. Any Bon Jovi fans? No? Okay. So again, I, I said this before, but I really do love the insert that they put in the box. It's really clever. The writer is very, very witty. It's just, it's absolutely brilliant. And it like, it just feels so personal and like we're actually having a conversation or a chat with somebody. Some of the brands, things just feel a little bit superficial and things like that. This just feels like a really down to earth newsletter. And I, I absolutely love this. So it's great. So again, I'm delighted with my box. Like I said, the value comes to just under 50 pounds. We have our dry shampoo from Cola. We have the firming Fiji facial oil from Mono Skin. We have our moisturizer from Groom. We have the Kiss the Moon bath salts. We have the Raw Halo chocolate bar. And then we have from Balance Act of the Vitamin C formula. So all in all, I do think it is a good box. It's full of stuff that I will use. It's full of stuff that I'm excited to use, but I would have liked to see maybe the value be a little bit higher or maybe have the chocolate as an extra and then have six items six kind of bigger items or six kind of beauty skincare items so i would have preferred to see that but that's just if i'm going to be super super critical just because it's a box that i love and i suppose i'm always trying to find my way to it on my channel and i just want to be as honest as i can so if i had to be really critical that's what i would say and i do think maybe they could have put in a product like like i said glossier do a birthday bomb.com not exactly that but just maybe something a little bit more along the lines of birthday or a birthday theme and there are also different lip balms and things like that that they do in like cake flavors just for ideas that's maybe something i would like to see because lip balm is still self-care and i get very dry lips so maybe that would have been an idea but that's just if i'm being really really critical apart from that i do really like my box i'm just trying to be honest with you guys it's not my favorite this is my third box and i did prefer the other two a lot more but that's just if i'm honest but it's all still stuff that i will use i really like the addition of some discount codes this month that's something that's new and really really nice to see now i did not read out the monthly mission in this video and i'm very very sorry i've had a problem getting into my email my connection has not been very very good at the minute just the signals up and down so i wasn't i didn't actually get to get into it in time to do this so i might add the monthly mission just in below in the description bar for you guys if you don't mind but thank you so so much for joining me today and for watching my usually brambly videos and i hope to see you in another one right, thank you so much for tuning in to l loves and if you guys like these videos please do subscribe i really would appreciate it and thank you to all my subscribers you guys are really really brilliant and thank you for sticking around despite the infrequency in in how often i upload and i know it is quite seldom but thank you so much all right hope you guys look after yourselves and talk to you soon bye